Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty and we're in month number 6. That seems to be an incredibly intense month number 6. It is mission after mission after mission after mission and we're just about to reduce the avatar timer by 2 when another mission pops up. We have been spotted out, so it is time for us to face the consequences. There are probably going to be some enemies who are going to drop in very soon. And we gotta deal with them. So next turn will be The first turn when they drop in. Your team is compromised. We're picking up advent response forces inbound on your position. You know what? Instead of just going for high ground, let's stay down here very solidly. I don't know where they are going to drop, but it's entirely possible that they are kind of dropping like literally somewhere here. Affirmative. Moving out. So I'm standing in the open. Overwatching, waiting for them to drop. And let's hope at least one of them runs through my blade storm. It's going to be a pretty chill and easy mission, guys, so don't worry, we got it under control. Well, uh, I said that a bit too early. Good, we're positioning ourselves in safety. And this is going to be fun. Just want to injure all three of them. Yeah, losses are coming closer. I like it. Good old Grim Reaper. A to 12, A to 12, well, let's start with him then. So this theoretically could be a kill, but yeah. Only theoretically. We still got Bladestorm though, so once this guy moves away, we're going to trigger Bladestorm. And there we go, Blade Blaster killed him. And we're being swarmed by loss. Turning ourselves that nice little promotion. And that's an overwatch and an overwatch in case more losses are going to come. Which, surprise, surprise, 
That's exactly what happens. And as always, we're missing our overwatch shots. All right, good. And the rest of the mission is pretty straightforward. I mean, there's really not much that is going to be threatening. The worst thing that I've ever seen in these missions were Andromedons, but we're not that far in the game yet. We're technically still in mid-game. There is an pretty intense uh, difficulty spike um, coming up in September, the legendary September difficulty spike, unless they have changed it now. That used to be the end of most of uh, the legendary runs, simply because the enemies were starting to outscale, but with the amount of scientists that we do have, and just the roster depth, I really don't think that that's going to be a big problem. Oh yeah, please come closer. That was a hilariously good idea. No, let me think about it. It was not a good idea. Oh, nice. We got Whirlwind. Didn't even have that on my radar. Yeah, that doesn't work together with um, Reaper. That's why I didn't proc the last time. But yeah, with Whirlwind, things are even becoming easier. Yeah, we're going to play this here fairly conservative. Don't want to injure any of uh, them. So, simply going to be a very much flawless mission. Good, moving up, moving up, and we do have one or two more advents, and then that's it. There is the next advent. Fuck. Okay. I mislike that they can simply take an action just right off the get-go. I mean, we were in cover. There was no indication that this guy would be coming. And yet we got punished. What kind of a game design is that? Random hitting your, uh, hitting your squad mates? That just uh, incentivizes uh, the Overwatch crawl even further. Okay, we can kill it. Oh. 
This may or may not trigger a pack of loss. And this will kill it. Um, yeah, we'll win. Let's get into cover. Yeah, I wanted to have a flawless mission, but that's not the case anymore. Reloading. Let's get heal, and I think we're out of there, out of here afterwards. Super fast mission, unfortunately not flawless. Good to go. On it. And you know, I would get it. There was a rule originally in the better advent mod that if you're staying in the open, um, they will take an immediate shot at you and that is what the developers even included into War of the Chosen. I always felt that that rule made sense. If you leave your uh, soldiers in the open, okay, you can get punished. But for being in cover, like what are you punishing this, uh, the player for? Not knowing that a pack is there? Good, and we're back. Pitbull here got a promotion. We are definitely taking heat warheads. And I'm still thinking about making like one of uh, these support only um, grenadiers. It's probably an interesting build as well. Should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Our actions have Very nice. Health was permanently increased by one. Gained some experience, and Avatar project was reduced. That's exactly what we want to see. Can we reduce it any further? I like getting a scientist, but we need to make sure that we're killing the Chosens first. Then we have plenty of time afterwards. Plus one health and supplies. That's a beautiful mission, but unfortunately... Nope. Let's go with the extra dodge here. Oh, we're now lightly wounded for three days, seriously, for taking that one point of damage. Well, in that case, we're rather going with the promotion. Phil Mitch Mitchell gets the promotion. And can we put someone else onto this mission? Yes, we can. Thank you. No one is going to be captured. 
plus in 14 days we're going to find out where the warlock has his stronghold that's fine i like it I wish we could speed that up even more, but unfortunately there is no upgrade to further speed up the Covert Ops missions. And the Long War guys have made them much, much longer. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Out that well, that certainly is not a good idea. Shit. We probably should have or could have counted that. Well, gotta make our way up here. Let's continue making contact. I'll actually make that our priority so that we do have a bit more control over the Avatar project. South Africa is almost uh, filled up with recruits again. Yep, everything else looks fine. Let's continue making contact. Are you kidding me? Oh, a new scientist. Let's see if we can staff that mission. A couple of our soldiers have recovered. Yeah, we don't have any one ready. Look, look at that, infiltrating, 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 infiltrating. And we got a couple of kind of trainings as well as removal. How far have the other missions infiltrated? I mean, we do have a pretty well infiltrated um, headquarter here. Question is, do I want to fight against 37 to 39 enemies or we're just continuing to infiltrate and make it way, way, way easier. <sighs> it's a difficult question. I mean, we do have such a nice team here. So I feel we can take, take on 40 enemies. But it's going to be a four hour slugfest again. <laughs> so that's an option. And whoever comes out of that slugfest can then go and get us another scientist. Which we, by the way, need. So that one is a pretty pretty damn important mission. We got a smash and grab over here. I don't feel very well by just saying effort and we're going to we're going to do it with 80% infiltration. Uh, the team isn't good enough for that. Got to hack the workstation here. And that is easy. I mean, it's one more uh, it's one more pack compared to before and it would give us a few really good soldiers. That might be the answer, if we can run this mission here real quick, then that's probably the answer. And you know what, since we're only 19 minutes in, let's actually launch that mission. Uh, so today's episode will have two missions for the price of one. Two quick missions. 
Good, here we are. We landed right onto on a graveyard. One of my favorite uh, tiles to fight. This is um, from the Legacy um, uh, pack update. All of these tiles because they resemble the XCOM 1 graveyard, uh, which was one of the most difficult starting mission. If you uh, were, start were starting on graveyard on Impossible Iron Man, there was a good chance that you were getting your ass just so much handed to you. But that's a different story. Little sector it's over there. I still remember them. So we got 12 enemies here. Gotta do the network shutdown. We got ourselves a scout. Rescue. Um, yeah, looks like a pretty decent team. Oscar Miking. We were we're almost uh, discovered. Let's try to shut that drone down so that it doesn't discover us the next time. Very nice, appreciate it. Moving. Moving up. What 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 what? What is this beast? Am I seeing a new version of a sector? Is that thing looking like a sector with a snake head? Is that a mixture? Is that an elite sector? Sector Commander. Ooh. Roger that. I like it. The aliens bring out uh, bring out some new tricks. Get it done. Let's take a wild guess who is specifically susceptible to melee attacks. Guess, I guess it is a sector. Yes. Well, this one here would be awesome. And I think we're doing it just for shits and giggles. So that would almost single-handedly kill both uh, the entire pack. Oh, holy melee vulnerability! Combined with blade storm. Larium core advanced stock. Good shit. Whatever you say. You see that one? Good. We know that's twelve enemies, three of them are already dead. Should get onto high ground with him, he has uh, damn good ground. And we're overwatching. Which is the right decision, because we have triggered another pack. One which, funnily enough, we're almost immune against.
Running and gunning. Mostly to trigger the overwatch, but also to have the option to take a couple of shots. Lightning reflex makes us immune. Fortunately, we couldn't um, flank anyone. Let's take a 50-50. Good job. Moving into a flanking position. That's some very nice damage. Continuing to move into a flanking position, and this should be a kill. Let's kill. I don't. I didn't want to rush in because that usually. That usually means we're pulling another pack. So that's three, six down. Oh, that was not clever, buddy. Like, not at all. That is number seven. Not sure why exactly we were taking damage, because technically we shouldn't. Maybe the explosion does not count as fire damage. In which case, I would congratulate the AI for finding a way of how to injure us with uh, someone who couldn't injure us. Kill confirmed. Okay, I'll go. Moving. Advent forces on the ground. Uh, two faces ones right there. Can already tell that. Time to get ready for some explosions. You know, let's give Glitch here an 8 protocol. and actually move out of line of sight. That's the last pack over there. Rockets. But we, we got protection against rockets, my friend. Moving over. Six percent chance to hit only. Oh, that's a bummer. But the stunner might work. Good, so we'll take care of him next turn. Gremlin. 
Let's see with the Overwatch. I would like to kill the mech, if possible. So let's move into full cover. Oh shit. Did I miscount? Did I really miscount? I mean, I'm inclined to just blow this thing here up. <laughs> Fortify. But it's too inaccurate. Can't really hit that well. Could go all the way up to here, but we would be in uh, in the open. Probably taking shots from two sides. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Could take down the elite trooper. Could go into cover here. I want to kill the mech, but we don't have the range. Trooper is out of business so that's not a problem there are two faceless ones over here gotta account for them as well i can't just charge in that would be suicidal moving to here and flashbang maybe arguably yes Can we, can we reach the Viper? We already have flashbang this guy. Come on, let's reach the Viper. Okay, can't do that. move even further forward but what are we gaining here like we would injure him the mech has afterwards a flanking position on us which it currently does not we're in half cover instead of full cover it is just a worse version of just being here I'm overwatching. Target still up. Meg takes some high ground. And we'll take a good shot. Luckily we're in full cover. Healing ourselves. 
network shut down in four. We gotta keep moving, guys. This could be a kill. All right, make us down. Perfect. Can it? We could explode them. Seems doable. Locked and loaded. Let's first get this guy down. Shit. Can't let him live with. Two HP. Rolling. We have an extended um, flamethrower, by the way. We're immune against melee, so that would work. Same deal here, right? Can charge in. That'll get rid of him. The Viper is still standing. Sigdud can't really do that much. Viper is still a problem, though. Easiest attempt would be if the Viper would try to uh, just grapple us. This here is an option, a good one, I might add. I think I'm going to do that. Let's go. The blade storm after I mean we're in half cover. And blade storm will kick in and kill the viper. Oh shocker! Who would have guessed that that there is a faceless one? Oh yeah, lightning reflexes. I should have thought about those. Disorientation? No. Yes. Moving over here. Back Free reload. Flamethrower can hit everyone. No, barely cannot hit everyone. We're not taking any chances here. We're immune to fire. I'm going. Sixteen percent. Wow, that's bad. Well. You know, might as well 
take the only shot that it has a somewhat decent chance to hit. Viper is down. And we're clearing, uh, cleaning house. Moving up because we need to hack very soon. Unfortunately, this entire fight has taken, or we've taken more damage than I would have anticipated originally. Interesting, I would have guessed um, we could parry no problem, their melee attacks. Apparently that's not the case. Face this one down. So it's the sector. By the way, in all of the uh, these intense skirmishes, I almost forgot that we want to be evac'd. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Accessing system. Let's get some bonus into. Good job. Well, overall, pretty good fight. Unfortunately, I think we've taken some damage, so that means we can't just continue in the next mission. Which I very much regret. The whole idea was that this team here can do another mission afterwards. And now I think two of them will actually be injured. Uh, Luckily our overwatches work well, uh, reasonably well. And for those small skirmishes, I really like how the Shinobi has turned out. Super mobile. Solar the pack by himself. Well, there is no one, and... Again, no one, and again, no one. Closing on 
target position now. What's over there? And we are moving onto the extraction spot. Ready to engage. On overwatch. On overwatch. One last time that someone drops, and we're going to get out of here next turn, anyways. Kill. Good enough. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Good. Out Getting out of here. I'm out of here. And there we go. Yeah, it wasn't flawless, it was okay, but got a lot of injured soldiers. Mm, too bad. Yeah, well, that was quite the opposite to let's do it flawless. Just get out of there. I mean, we got intel. We also got intel from the actual mission. Elarium, core, and some loot. Overall, it was fine. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for. And Bradford's first comment was not, "Hey, well done. Good that you foment the mission." He is complaining about the lack of manpower. So we got like one, two, two soldiers available, two further in the next 24 hours. Theoretically got the Shinobi ready. Well, that's already a team, if you ask me. And I think the infiltration time was nine days, so we could let one day pass. It was nine days, right? Yeah. Could let one day pass. Very low enemy baseline as well. What, 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 what? Did a new mission pop up? A scientist and an intel package, five days, 12 hours. Yeah, I want to have scientists, so. So what are we going to do? Gotta act on this mission here rather fast. We got one more soldier from training. Three soldiers. Eight hours would be great to get her. Let's say we're waiting eight hours, that's four soldiers.
don't want to interrupt the retraining not 38 hours before it's done. Hmm. But we could we could do the mission together with him. Am I being too greedy and not rational about it? We could go for a couple of rookies. How do we feel about that? Got three soldiers, four with a gunner. Putting two rookies on top of it. That's six. Let me prepare that real quick. What's the time frame here? Five days. Avenger plotting new course. Maybe we're going in without the gunner and just with two rookies. I will need the course. Can get rid of a couple of those. Okay, easy enough. Um, So that brings our overall count to five soldiers. I mean, yeah, two of them are rookies, so not necessarily going to be very helpful, but still, I mean, then they can carry, they can carry grenades and a flashbang grenade here and there can stall for long enough and we're only fighting against five, uh, seven to nine enemies. But I want the scientist. Matter of fact, I want both of them because we lost one scientist due to a glitch a bit earlier. Getting to seven scientists is definitely appropriate. All right, let me figure this out. Okay, we got ourselves a team together. I was almost forgetting about our mech, which was also potential, a potential candidate for the mission, so we didn't really need the rookies. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with Captain Cunningham Swordsman, who's leading Pitbull Ghost and Bishop into this mission. Uh, unfortunately, can't deploy a fifth uh, soldier, but the rookies can help us with the other mission, which we still need to do. In position for deployment. We're barely making ends uh, uh, meets here. Ends needs. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Research was a success, Commander. Commander, the lab is currently idle. Perfect. So we got ourselves the fusion blade. 
Perfect. It's exactly what we were looking for. And Celestial Gauntlet, Asset Grenades. Great. Although I am still not entirely sure what the aliens hope to achieve, such a grand design. I like the idea of going for battle armor soon. But overall, we need to go with advanced coil gun. How many more supplies do we need? 31. But we've still managed to do reasonable. Plotting new course. Market is open. Don't want to uh, get rid of the Alarium course. Can get rid of uh, the C PCI. And a single stock. Yep, there we go. Don't need that. Good, we're going for advanced call guns because uh, that opens our research path all the way to plasma. By the way, we now got the swords, which if we look at our inventory, I think it was called fusion blade. No, we don't have that yet. What does it cost? Oh, it costs an Archon Corpse. Hmm. Well, we need those. But the rest seems to be fine, and it costs an Alarium Core. Plus, it requires seven engineers. Okay. Need another engineer then. Good. As for our soldiers, we probably need five to six for the other mission. Got a gunner to rookies. Soon Tracy will be ready. And a sharpshooter. That's already five then. Good enough. <clears throat> Perfect, that's good enough, um, and that'll be our next mission, by the way, a nice little smash and grab. Thank you for watching, it was as always a pleasure, and uh, this time we had two missions for the price of one. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, if that was the case, leave a comment or a like down below, and see you in the next one. Bye bye guys!